today, and I'm about to take a shower and all of that crap. Um, really not feeling very good today, and my back is hurting. Curtis is kind of irritating me, being honest. Um, he didn't call his job last night. He's not answering me. Um, he's supposed to be calling his job right now, and, like, I need to call, like, um, as far as if I am going to try to get a ride to my chiropractor appointment tomorrow, I need to be calling my medical insurance. You know, if he's not going to be able to give me a ride to my appointment tomorrow, then I need to know, um, you know, like, ASAP, so then I can try to get a ride from my medical insurance, and he's not answering me, so, like, I need to know, um, because otherwise I'm going to just have to cancel my appointment, and I'm kind of frustrated at this point, and it's irritating me, you know? Um, so, like, right now it's just one of those days, and... I'm just irritated. Um, Jazz just left because she, like, she has to do something for her new job. Um, she actually doesn't start until, like, I think she said, like, the 5th or 6th of October. Um, and the reason why I say that is because she has jury duty on the 5th of October. So, um, that's why she's unsure of the exact date. Um, so yeah, my eyes have been bothering me all morning. I noticed that, like, when I went to go put Peanut on the bus, that, like, my eyes have been, like, itchy and irritated all morning. Um, and also, my mom had sent me, like, she sends me goodie boxes, and in the last box that she sent me, she sent me these, like, a bunch of Bath and Body Works scents. Um, the body sprays, and she sent me this one spray that I'm using because I switch up what scent I use every week, and this week I am using the, I think it's Winter Candy Apple, oh my god, I am in love with this scent this week, and uh, I'm just, I'm feeling it this week, but anyways, I'm about to go get in the shower, um, so... Kind of, hopefully that will help with, like, the burning eyes. I'm, I'm hoping that maybe it's just, like, I need to wake my body up somehow or something like that. Hopefully that will help. So, good morning, beautiful people. Hey guys, so I am just, like, I'm sitting here and it is a super, super gloomy day. I'm revamping my resume because the virtual assistant job that I have been doing since like 2013, they just released a, um, like a little statement on the website that they actually have like multiple positions open that are actual like jobs. Now, if I could get this job, like, um, which is a work from home position, but it is an actual job, like a W-2 job, something that you can do from home, um, but it is an actual job, like a manager position, I would gladly do this position, gladly. If I was able to get this job, I would take it. Um, it is an assistant operations um, manager I would totally take it. So I'm revamping my resume and I'm going to start working on a cover letter. Um, my problem is like I have the hardest time with the whole cover letter thing. Um, so I still, I'm frustrated because Curtis, like he has to work so I'm probably going to have to cancel my whole appointment with the chiropractor because my freaking um, medical insurance is too late to get a ride so now I have to cancel that freaking appointment and I'm kind of upset about that but oh 
freaking well. Um, but anyways, I've pretty much gotten my resume together the way that I want it to be. It's not as polished as I think it should be, but um, it's kind of the best that I can make it look at this point, I feel like. Um, I mean, it's honest, and I don't want to, like, over-embellish it and, like, lie like some people do, because um, it's just, it's the truth. Um, but anyways, uh, if I could get this position, I would totally love to have it. But anyways, um, I'm gonna pray for me, guys, because I would love to have this, this job. So, um, yeah. So, I just submitted my cover letter, my resume, and all of that stuff. So, keep me in your prayers because I totally, totally, totally would love to have this job. And um, I called my chiropractor's office and they were able to reschedule my appointment so I didn't have to cancel. Um, so, instead of going to the chiropractor tomorrow to get that whole um, consultation and like spinal um, MRI and x-ray and everything done tomorrow I'm going Monday I wanted to cancel because I'm like seriously like scared I'm scared guys I'm a scary cat um, instead of doing that tomorrow. I'm doing it Monday, like I said. And I just really, I really want this job. And so yeah, I'm just sitting here watching YouTube videos until Peanut comes home. And hopefully Jazz gets good news with what she is doing today. And other than that, I'm just chilling. I, I wish there was some type of good food downstairs. So then I could like go eat something because I feel like I'm hungry, but there's nothing that like I really want to eat downstairs. Like I went downstairs a few minutes ago, but like, cause my stomach feels like, like, you know how you get that hungry feeling? Like I have that hungry feeling, but when I went downstairs, nothing was like enticing to me. So... I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm having one of those little moments. But um, anyways, I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, send some positive vibes my way because I would love to like have somebody from my job tell me that uh, I have been chosen for this managerial position.
so as you guys saw earlier from the pictures um we had a little mishap in the kitchen um fire started in the microwave peanut tried to make oatmeal without putting water in the bowl but um I'm just so emotional. I've been sitting here thinking about my daughter that I lost and wondering what she would have been like right now. If she was still here <laughs> and just like you know sometimes it's hard for me to you know spend time with peanut because you know it's like I wonder if she would have some of the same personality you know that peanut does and you know like I see all these kids at the bus stop and I'm like you know would my child, you know, act the same as these kids do, and <clears throat> would, would she like this show, or would she like these TV shows, would she like listening to this music, or this type of music, would she be a dancer like I was, you know? Just so you know, I'm not going to edit any of this out. So I'm sorry if this vlog is a little bit longer. But I feel like a lot of people edit out the hard parts. And I feel like the hard parts need to be shown too. Because life isn't always happy. And life isn't always positive. Yeah, the positive parts are good. And the positive parts are what people like to see. But the negative parts need to be shown too. And losing a child is one of the worst things that could ever happen to anybody. And that moment is one that no matter how many times, no matter how many times you cry, anytime you replay that moment in your head, you'll always cry like a baby. You'll always cry like you never cried before. You'll always cry like it's the first time you've experienced it. You'll always cry like it's the very first day. You'll always cry like it's the day that it happened. And, like, I had somebody tell me that it gets easier, like, as time goes on, it doesn't get easier. I don't know why you would even lie to yourself and say that. Because to me, it doesn't get easier. It doesn't. And, like, I didn't just lose one child. Like... I lost multiple because you know I lost my daughter and I've had multiple miscarriages um, I've also had an ectopic pregnancy that had to be surgically removed so 
You know, I mean, I'm just a mess. And so to say that I haven't been through the ringer and then some, yeah, you'd have to be crazy to say that. <sighs> All right, well, like I said, this vlog, I'm sure it's going to be longer than most, but, um, if you're watching still, I love you. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with me. I need to take my medication. Then I can go to sleep. I don't know why, but it's only 11 p.m. Usually I'm not this tired, but for some reason, I don't know if it's because it's a gloomy day or what it is. Maybe it's because of the smoke and stuff from earlier, but like I've been super tired since like 9.30. So, um, yeah, like obviously since I washed my hair today, um, I decided to wait um, to dye my hair because I like, I feel like when you dye your hair, it's better to do it when your hair is at least a little bit dirty. Because at least in my experience with my hair, like my hair holds color better when it is dirty, at least a little bit. Um, because like, I don't know. Like, I don't know, I just feel like the water doesn't, the water, the color doesn't wash out as well. Or as easily, I should say. Because, um, like, I notice that usually, like, especially with the brighter colors, like red, or like even this color it'll wash out like super super easily if I use the color on hair that's like just been washed as opposed to if I wait till it's like maybe just before I'm supposed to wash my hair because I wait like and wash my hair like every few days or every like three or four days so that's like my little hair washing routine if you were ever curious on like how that goes um I don't know if I'm going to be doing like beauty stuff on my channel anymore because well at least until I get a new laptop because my laptop is all messed up ever since like the whole upgrade to windows happened um like as far as the webcam goes on my laptop, it will not let me upload any of the videos from my laptop. So like when I record things with my um, webcam, like the stuff on the webcam can't be uploaded to YouTube. So like if I, up if I record something with my webcam, I can't upload it because I can't ever find the file. Like there's stuff that I uploaded or recorded with my webcam like forever ago like get ready with me's and stuff like that because I find it a lot easier to film stuff with my webcam like as far as get ready with me's because it's like right there and it's easier for me to just look into the webcam as I'm like doing my makeup and stuff like that and so it's easier for me because I'm like right there and I'm doing my makeup you know in the webcam and I can see myself but um yeah, I can't find those files, so I don't know, unless I'm able to get like a different laptop or something like that, I'm not sure when or if I will have any more get ready with me's. As far as outfit of the days, I can still do those, um, but like beauty stuff, like the get ready with me's, I'm not sure how I'll be able to do those unless I'm able to like figure out a way for me to be able to do them on this camera. Um, 
Yeah, this doesn't have like an LCD that flips up or anything. Like all it has is uh, the live view. So it doesn't like, there's no flip up LCD. You know. Yeah, you just have that. So I don't know. Um, because I know people are complaining that there's no beauty videos and I noticed nobody really watches my vlogs so I've honestly been considering like not filming anymore but like I still want to make videos but I've been like considering just making all my videos unlisted so then it's more like my videos are for myself um so I don't know what do you guys think about that would you be sad? I don't know. I mean, I usually get like five people watching my vlogs. I mean, the only videos that people really watch are my giveaway videos. I notice that. Just saying. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. This is probably going to be the end of today's vlog. I know it was a little bit longer because I talked about, you know, some kind of emotional stuff. So, with that being said, I'm not going to hold you up any longer. Um, thank you guys for listening if you made it this far. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Let me know what you guys think. I would really appreciate your feedback. And stay beautiful and stay blessed.